Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to another session of Face to Face to Online Transition. In today's session, we will be looking at how can we stop our students from creating and starting those meetings and causing all the chaos during our class time. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here I am in my Samples Teams class, and I want to make sure I stop my students from creating meetings in all my channels. In order to do that, I simply go to the channel, click on these three ellipses, Manage Channel, and turn on the moderations. When you turn on the moderations, you are telling Teams that only you have a permission to start a new post. Creating a meeting is also considered a post. But if you have a co-teacher, you might want to go ahead and click on Manage and add the teacher's email address just in case the teacher wants to start a new meeting in your absence. Make sure you turn off the connectors and bots because you don't want your students playing with those. I definitely want my students to reply to my announcement, so I will go ahead and leave this option. But please keep in mind, Teams does not have a save option, so whatever you do will automatically be saved. So the next step is to stop students from starting the meeting before you do. So here I am, I have scheduled a meeting for September 18th at 3 p.m. So once the meeting is scheduled, you need to make sure you click on the meeting options and make sure you are the only one who can bypass the lobby. Keep in mind, you want to make sure you are the only one who can bypass the lobby just in case if the students start the meeting, they will not be inside your meeting. They will have to wait for you to let them in. And if you are a teacher who wants to make sure you know who is leaving and joining the meeting, make sure you check this so that the Teams announces who is joining and who is leaving. And also keep in mind, you have an option to change who can present. And all these options can be altered once you start the meeting as well. But I highly recommend you checking who can bypass the lobby ahead of the time, just in case you do not want your students to start the meeting ahead of you. And do not forget to click Save. I quickly want to go ahead and show you how the student interface looks once you have enabled your channel moderations. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I have logged into the Teams as a student using a different email address. And as you can see, I have disabled start the meeting option for my students. And you can see on the right hand side, they do not have the meet now button. And let's go ahead and check announcements because I know I disabled in that as well. So here you go. The meet now option has disappeared in the student interface. Now let's go ahead and check what happens if I join the meeting ahead of my instructor as a student. As you can see, here I am. I joined the meeting ahead of my instructor and it tells me when the meeting starts, we we'll let people know you're waiting. So that way students cannot start the meeting ahead of you. They have to wait for you to let them into the meeting. I hope you like this video and this quick tips on how to make sure you stop your students from creating and starting the meeting ahead of you. If you do, please make sure you like, subscribe, and if you think it's worth sharing, please go ahead and do so. There could be an educator who might really need this feature to make sure he or she runs the class smoothly. If you have any questions or comments or requests, please make sure you comment in the comment section below. And always, always remember, happy teaching.